Okay, I'm going to do a video today to show you how to upgrade the headlights in your Land Rover Defender to these latest black LED type. So these are a fully EMARC approved headlight um, and we'll go through how to fit these and give you a demonstration of what they look like and how they perform hopefully. Um, right Tom, do you want to... Can I pass the camera over to Tom and we'll show you how to dismantle it. So the first job is you've got to take off these two screws here. Okay. So we've got our handy magnetic pot with us today. Okay. Right, and then you've got to remove the side lighting indicator here because they also hold on. These screws screw through the side light into the into the rear and actually hold on the um, hold on the rear cowling. So there you go. When you move those, you've got this connector. You push down in the middle here, or at the back here, sorry, and that releases the grip of the connector. Okay, so that's the side light removed. I'll put that down there for the moment. Likewise. Now everything will get very loose now, so Tom's giving me a bit of a hand holding it on that. In many ways it might be better actually to do the indicator and the side light first, but it makes a little difference. Okay, so the same thing, push down on the back of the connector and remove the indicator. Okay, and now we can remove this front cowling. Okay, so that's that bit removed, okay? I'll just put that on the floor. Now we need to remove the headlight, okay? Now the best way to do it is to undo the screw. Now only one of these screws hold it in, so it's this one. So we're going to say that's about the four o'clock position as you look at the headlight. Okay. Now there are, on different models, there are slightly different versions um, of headlight bulb. But these headlights are compatible with them all. Now that's released that one, and then you'll see here there's this little groove that goes in the, the up-down beam, that's the beam height adjuster screw there, okay, and then likewise on the left you've got the left-right beam adjuster screw, okay. So if we pull that out, you see you brought it out complete with this front rim, okay, but there you see you've got the connector on the back, so this is the standard H4 three-pronged connector, okay, just give it a wiggle off. Okay, and it will, it will come, let's wiggle it the other way, that's it, and wiggle it back that way a bit, okay, so work that off, so that's the connector, and obviously there, that's the H4 bulb in there, okay, right, now we don't need to take that out, because we're replacing that, but our new unit's going to connect to that, so we're going to come over to the workbench now, with this unit, and what we need to do now, is we need to swap over this mounting rim, onto the new light, Okay, so first of all, let me uh, talk you through the light a little bit. So on here, you won't be able to see on the video, but there's the word top mark. So obviously that goes uppermost, okay, and that's quite important. Okay, now out the rear, and I don't want to put this down on the bench, let me just grab something and put it on. Uh, yeah, avoid putting it down. The, these headlights have got a plastic lens, and it is scratch resistant, but... Even so, I like to treat it with some respect. Um, okay, so we've these come originally with just four wires. You can see them here. And on the website, we've put the color connections. What we've done, and we'll look at doing this before we sell them, is we've put a diode in line here so that when you're on dip beam, only the dip beam come on. But when you go main beam, you get the dip and main beam on, which gives you a really good light output. And then these two wires are for the side light wire. Um, the side light is this little central, you get a, um, an angel eye effect there, we'll show you that in operation later. One last note on the headlight before I start assembling it, is it is fully waterproof. We've actually had this very light for two days totally submerged in water, and there's no condensation in it at all. So these are IP67 fully waterproof lights. Right, enough of the talking and sales right so what we've got to do is we've got to remove these three little plastic clips 
off the back, okay? So, undo that, okay? There's one clip and one screw. The next one, okay? One clip, one screw. Last one. One clip and one screw. Right, okay, right. So now that we no longer need, so we'll put that down to one side. Okay, and now what we've got to do is build up this ring, okay? So what we're going to do is look for that top marking again. There it is, top. Okay, now this, we know where the top is because you'll have the, the slot at the top and the other one to the left. Okay, and we'll put that on there roughly. And then what we should see is that the screw holes here line up with the little indentations there. Okay, so you're looking for each of these. That screw hole lines up with that indentation, that screw hole. I'll just rotate it just to get it totally spot on. And then what we're going to do is put these clips on like so. So you'll see the clip straddles the little lump. There we go. And then I've got about eight hands. So I'm going to put the screw in. The first one's the trickier one. Okay. And get that one, get that one nipped up there. Okay. Spin it round. I'm supposed to stop saying okay in my videos. People have been complaining, so I'm working on it. There we go. Spin that one in. That's it. And then spin it around, get the last one on again. You'll see the back, the clip lines up, straddle that clip. Right. Okay, so now they're all together. I'm going to totally final nip up. Right, okay. So there we have the assembly, the sub-assembly, should I say, ready to go in. So if we jump back over onto the car here. Right then, here we go. So, you'll see now we're not plugging in the bulb, we're plugging in the flying lead, which is sort of emulating a bulb, if you like. Okay. Let's try to get that lined up correctly. Now again, you could put some silicon or some grease in there just to stop water so we'll tuck all that behind there for now. And now make sure you've got the top at the top and then line up that into the groove. There's a little groove on there. And then the top one, again, we've got to get that into the little groove there. Can you see that from the side, the little groove? Slot that in, okay? And then when you've got that right, what you'll see here is this bottom hole at here at the four o'clock position. Okay, that's all ready to, to go. We'll put the screw back in there. And then... Mm -hmm. Put that one in. And then that's the headlight connected. We've got the side light connection to do. But that's all the headlight connections and, and mechanically that's back in. Now, you will need to readjust the headlight. You might be lucky, it might be at the same point, but if you need to adjust the headlight beam, it's obviously this top screw that you're winding backwards and forwards to give you your position, okay? Right, now, so let's put the rest of it back together. We'll assume we've got that right, okay? But just for the video, put that one in there. And it's actually worth noting that you can actually still get to the adjuster screw so it's actually no it's not a we're not really racing ahead here you could put all this back together and adjust the the beam pattern at your leisure later so we'll get that screw in there to hold it all in place right now we'll, we'll put the we'll put the indicator back in we'll leave the side light back 
we'll leave the side lot out for the minute to show you how to do your connection. Now the side light on the Land Rover is obviously this top corner light, the one above the indicator light I'm working on now. So you may choose not to wire up the side light angel eye in these headlights, but that's entirely up to you. I think once I think it looks pretty good, so even if it's for cosmetic reasons, it's it's worth doing. Okay, so we've got that done now, and now I'll go. I'll go and open the bonnet, and we'll show you how to wire up this. So, with the bonnet open, you can reach all the way in here, as you can see, my fingers. So you can poke the two wires we've got through there. Okay. Now, okay, we've got these wired. We've pre-wired these with a the wire with a black stripe is negative, and on the car, the wire, the black wire, is negative. And what we've got here over to my bench is um, we've got these scotch lock connectors which um, they're not the best but they're, they're fine for a side light connection especially with the low current with the LEDs and what you've got here is if you open these up you see you've got a oh, you've got to get this right here you've got one channel that goes all the way through here and the one next to it is closed off okay so the one with the closed off channel we lie this into like so and the other one so goes on there okay and then we click crimp that up so you can see you've got the black wire passing through and then holding that in place we're gonna a pair of pliers we're gonna close that in okay and that will form a electrical joint through the two bits of wire, okay. Now you, you could solder these if you so desire, okay, but that's join those and then if you flip this one over there, okay, that's clamp that one. Okay, and we'll do the same on this one, so we'll just open him up a little bit. So the one nearest the pivot point is the one with the dead end. The one furthest from the pivot is that one. Oh, he's going through a bit far there. I'll just pull him back a bit. That's it. Okay. Okay. Push that there. Okay. So that's those spliced in with the scotch type connectors okay and then we're gonna push that in till it clicks push that back there screw that Right, so that's up, us finished there. So obviously one thing to note on this is you can see this rusty headlight rim here, but obviously it might be worth replacing the headlight bowl at the same time as you replace the headlights. They are expensive headlights, um, so that would help to, to make them look nice. If I can find out where the bonnet today goes. Is that broken there? Yeah. Okay, so there we go, that's the finished job. So we'll do another video in a minute and we'll show you how to, uh, we'll show you them in operation, but it's a bit bright and sunny at the moment, so we might do that later this evening. So there you go, that's the, the LED headlight with the black background, okay, and that's what it, it was before, the standard type. So I hope that video will help you do that modification.